This is Eric's aquaponic system. Okay, so we have a four foot by eight foot growing bed container. It's mounted pretty flat right now. It has um, clay rocks in it for a growing medium. And this is just a, a plastic that uh, kind of just to keep the light from getting to the water because it'll create more algae if it's directly. So this kind of just shields the light from creating too much algae in there. But um, so we have strawberry plants growing purely hydroponically. And then our growing lights, these are metal halide lights, running 18 hours a day right now to, to grow. And then they're all on timers. Our pump, well here's our reservoir, an old freezer cooler, which has five rainbow trout in it, which will fertilize, their waste will be the fertilization for the plants. They get pumped up in the grow bed every three hours, and then it drains back out, and it's, the, the plants suck up the nutrients and put clean water back in the tank for the fish. So you're saying there's five fish down there's in there? five rainbow trout in there we just added yesterday. And then they eat this, and it's so cheap to feed the trout. It's like 10 cents a day. We're eventually going to do a worm farm outside with the rabbit poop, and, you know, you throw some worms in there as well. And probably some of the rabbit scraps when we eat rabbits, I mean, because fish will eat. So the fish provide the nutrients for the plants. Yep. And then the plants clean the water and put the clean water back in and then we have an aerator that just aerates the water. You need plenty of oxygen for the fish and the plants. The plants is the more oxygen in the water the better. Part one. Kill it. <laughs>